Hi, it's Cheryl from My Well-Rounded Life. Thanks for joining me today. Thank you for all my new subscribers. And if you don't know, I just recently, wait, I have to think, where am I going? Okay. I just recently reached a thousand subscribers. Super excited. And I'm gonna have a giveaway in the near future. I'm thinking next month. What's next month? June. That sounds good to me. Um, and I also, uh, first I got a, a congratulations message from YouTube, which if you don't know, it's owned by Google. And uh, telling me, you know, congratulations for your thousand. Uh, your channel is now in review. Uh, to be accepted to become monetized and we'll get back with you in a month or so That was just barely last week and today I got an email that says congratulations you're in You can go ahead and monetize your videos. Then it gave a whole bunch of links of like um, <clears throat> Q&A's and videos and stuff to learn how to do it and why you should do it and what kind of um, ads to put on and all the do's and don'ts and everything and I felt a little overwhelmed so I'm gonna take some time and go through all of that and do my homework and figure out what I'm doing because you have to pay taxes and you know all of this stuff that I am not completely prepared for so I'm not in any big hurry and when I get my act together and you know have all that figured out then I'll do it I'm not gonna just start slapping ads on my channel because I'm not really here for that. This is just, I started my channel um, because a couple people, uh, friends and family, didn't understand what a Dollar Tree haul was. I had recently discovered them on YouTube. I was never a YouTube person. Very rarely did I go on YouTube for anything. Maybe I wanted to hear what a certain song sounded like, so I would go on YouTube. But I didn't realize people had channels and did things. And, um, then I discovered blue mm, or silver, whichever. Then I discovered um, Dollar Tree hauls, and I love the Dollar Tree, and I would go there, especially at Christmas time, because that's where you get a huge savings, and the poop bags are great there. Um, but I just went for those kind of things, party supplies, and left. I never went up and down the aisles and looked at stuff. And after watching some of these Dollar Tree hauls, I I did what they did. I started looking for the things that they were hauling and I was like, this is amazing. The Dollar Tree is amazing. And I had no idea before that. So um, <clears throat> then I started telling people about Dollar Tree hauls and how great it was. And they're like, what is a Dollar Tree haul? So, one day when I came home from the Dollar Tree, I had a few items. I divvied them up into sections like food, health and beauty, stuff like that. And um, I filmed myself doing a Dollar Tree haul. And it was a parody. I was making fun. You know, I was being silly. And um, then I sent that short video, it was probably less than four minutes, to these uh, people who didn't know what a Dollar Tree haul was. And um, it was very funny and we had a good time and then they understood what a Dollar Tree haul was. I need more. It's raining, it's raining and my wipers aren't on enough. That's a little better. So anyway, uh, that's how I started. You know, after that, um, my daughter said, you know, you could do your own channel. And I was like, <laughs> Who would do that? You know, I, I can't do that. But I was getting further and further into YouTube and finding more and more people uh, like 45 and Fab. Uh, do it on a dime. Um, I think she was the first one. Do it on a dime. Love her. Her videos are short to the point, very professional. So anyway, um, I said, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and try it. I don't even know what my first video was. Besides the introduction, I don't, it was probably a Dollar Tree haul because that's what I knew. And uh, so it'll be two years this August. So it's been a little, it took a little over a year and a half to become monetized, but I wasn't trying to become monetized. And when I first started the channel, I just put a video out 
every now and then. I wasn't working toward a thousand subscribers. I didn't even understand any of that. Of course, back then you didn't need a thousand subscribers to become monetized. You needed other things. Turn right, turn right, turn right. But anyway, here I am monetized and uh, I'm excited. Okay, so now I'm monetized and I want to thank all of you who have subscribed and are continuing to watch me. I appreciate that. Um, I would like to better my channel and do other things. I'd like to get in the kitchen more. Uh, that would be wonderful for me. I always picture myself doing more kitchen stuff, but when it comes to it, I just don't do it. I just don't do it. I talk myself out of it. I really do. Like a lot of times I'll do a car vlog and two days later I'll find it on my phone and I'll be like, oh, it's not even relevant anymore. And I'll delete it because I didn't edit it and put it up right away. I'm like, these people don't care about what I said or what I'm doing right now. And I delete it. I deleted two of them in the past week car vlogs that I could have put up. I don't even know what I said. And then it comes to like, well, did I, did I already talk about this? And if I did, did I share it or did I throw it away? I don't know. Should I talk about it again? I don't know. Hi church. Hi pastor's house. Okay. No, I can't pass the church or the pastor's house without saying that out loud. And I do that whether you're with me or not. Okay. So, I don't know where I was. I have no idea. So let's just move on and tell you where I'm going. I'm going to Hobby Lobby. Uh, their truck comes on Wednesday, so Thursday and Friday is your best bet to get something that you're looking for in particular. And now in one of my videos recently I mentioned, and it could have been one that I deleted without putting out, um, ha, no happy planner uh, collaborated with an artist and you can find it under the name wrong wrong r-o-n-g r-o-n-g one word and she um, she draws she makes things and women and they collaborated and made a whole line of happy planner products the planners the sticker books activity sets whatever with these girls drawings and in Happy Planner's style. And I'm not 100% interested in it. I certainly don't want to own all of it. I certainly don't need most of it, but I do want to look at it. Now, I've seen all the products on YouTube. I've watched the flip throughs of everything, everything in that line. Um, but I would like to touch and feel and flip through myself. They have the, the big, sticker books and then they have the mini sticker books and they have it in like we'll just say regular and seasonal and I'm thinking of getting one of the small seasonals or a small regular and a small seasonal and I believe it is um, Hobby Lobby that has them maybe somewhere else like Joann's I'm not sure but I thought it's Thursday they got the truck yesterday if they have any more stuff it might be there I'll just go look I'll use a coupon if the stuff's not on sale and um, just give it a try. I don't want to own a lot of it. I don't want to spend 20 bucks on a sticker book filled with uh, something I don't really like. But the small sticker books are only $4.99. And if I get one with a coupon or on sale, um, then I'm okay with owning it. And like if it's seasonal, then it's something that I would just use occasionally and not regularly. Um, but we'll see. Once I get it in my hands and look through it, I might love it, but I don't. Um, but you can look into that on YouTube yourself if you want, or, or you could go to um, happyplanner.com and look through it there. You can order everything through them as well, um, but you have to pay shipping and handling, and you're only going to get 20% off at the site, and I don't even know if that 20% off is still going on now. That might have just been like a weekend promotional um, last week when the stuff first came out, so... I don't know but at least you can go there and look at it if you're interested which I am I'm not gonna totally write it off just because I don't really like the style and that's what it is it's just the style and the color combination and you know 
compare that to the typical happy planner look I prefer the typical happy planner look so <clears throat> I was also going to go to small mart after this to try on some capris because in one of my last videos I told you how I gained weight back oh darn it oh no this is good I can do it right here yes I told you how I gained uh, all but nine pounds back and here it is warm weather time for sandals and capris and I was afraid most of my things would not fit me so um, I was at Small Mart yesterday doing some shopping and I saw that they had capris black white beige and another white with a floral print all over it which I don't think fat people like me should wear so uh, I, I couldn't find any denim I took the time to look all through the women's section and I couldn't find any denim capris um, but I was busy I was shopping doing other things so I didn't take the time to really search it so anyway um, you're in the middle of the road are you aware of that okay so this morning or this afternoon after my shower I um, I pulled out my capris from last year and tried them on I have two denim a black and a beige and the beige ones were the only ones that fit and what I, my main concern was this Sunday it's Mother's Day uh, I need something nice to wear and I didn't want to wear denim I wanted black but the black ones I got them on but they didn't look right they just looked too against me Ugh. so um, and the the two denim ones I got up but not over my stomach and the the tan ones fit fine I put the shirt on that I wanted to wear with it it's kind of like a mauvey and uh, tan or beige floral shirt that I've had for probably two decades um, and it, it looks just fine with my tan sandals. So at least I have something to wear to church on Mother's Day and out to dinner. So I don't have to go back to Small Mart to get, um, or Walmart to get any kind of cheapo capri to get me through the weekend, because I'll be good. Now all I have to do is shave. That's right, I haven't shaved my legs yet. Not since I put my capris away last October. Why? I don't need to. Um, so I'm going to have to do that and I'm thinking oh, maybe I should do one leg today and one leg tomorrow. Pace myself, you know, because it's going to take a while. And you know when you shave yourself, you shave your legs and then you get out and you're drying off and you see this huge patch of grass that you didn't even mow. You completely missed it. How? You know you went over your entire leg a thousand times every direction. How did you miss this whole patch? And I already know that's what's going to happen. But when I go to shave, like when I need to shave, like for the first time for the season, I use a regular razor, three or four um, blades in it. There's a lady staring at me. I'm going to wait. I'll get my umbrella. Wait, I can't reach it. I can't reach it. There it is. It's beige. Everything about me is beige, but my last car was beige, so I had beige. Umbrella. Anyway, what was I saying? What was I saying? Oh, so I use a regular razor, three or four blades, uh, to do my first shaving. And then I use an electric razor a couple times a week throughout the warm weather, the warmer months, just to keep up with it. And the, the electric razor I have now I got from Wish. And it's actually um, has a, a USB port plug, you know, not like... I just wanted one that plugs into the wall, but no, you have to use a USB. I didn't realize that when I got it. Um, so I'm going to have to get that puppy out and charge her up because, like I said, I haven't seen her since October. And she's pink. Don't hit my car with your door. He's trying very hard not to. Thank you. Um... So yeah, I need to shave before before Sunday. And wow, this lady bought a lot of ferns. 
A lot of ferns and no bags. I hope you don't drop any. It's a lot of ferns, lady. So I have to do that soon. Today is run my errands day and do the dishes day and make two videos, edit and upload day. Tomorrow is clean the house day dust, vacuum, do my bathroom. I bought a new tub mat yesterday, so after I scrub up my tub, I'm just going to replace uh, the mat that's in there with a new one because I only scrub those tub mats, the, the top and the, the underneath, so many times. And then I'm like, when you get dirty again, you're dead. So I have the new one waiting to be used. And, uh, don't watch them. Don't watch them. Two old ladies. Don't watch. Don't. Just don't watch. Um, so, yeah, cleaning tomorrow. And then Saturday, my daughter goes to get Devin from school and bring her home for the summer. And she's going to be living between our place and my husband's. She doesn't have a bed yet. So all her stuff's going to be at my husband's house because Lord knows there's no place to put it in our house anywhere at all. All our closets are full. There's nothing. All she has is a sofa for a bed, you know, unless she wants to sleep on the floor. Um, but she's welcome to what we have. And if she's comfortable with us, then she can stay there. Um, anyway, Saturday is me day. That's when I have to shake, make sure my legs are shaved. Whether I start tomorrow or do it all whew, on Saturday, I have to do my eyebrows really bad again. And my hair, I'm all gray, so I just bought more hair dye. And I'm going to paint my nails, and I got a new color. I only have it on one nail, because I tried it last night in the dark living room. Um, I like it. It's a pink color, and it I have a matte finish on it. And I'll show you that when I get home. Oh, it's nice and smooth, very smooth. Um, I have a couple different products I want to show you, so I thought I would just add that to this video. And that will be one video, just the car vlog and then a couple things that I, I bought recently for me that I just want to show you. And then I'm going to do the, um, the Grove haul separately, a separate video, and try to get both of those out before the weekend. That's my goal. So I'll talk to you later. Bye. Hi. I'm soaked. It was pouring coming out. And uh, I grabbed my, I'm glad I took my umbrella in or I'd be worse. I had to use it. But at first I was saying, oh, that doesn't matter. I'm just going home. And I realized, no, I'm not because Hobby Lobby didn't have what I was looking for. So I have to keep going. Um, they had absolutely nothing in the wrong, wrong collab collection. So, before I got back on the horn with you, I looked it up, and, uh, because a lot of times they have it in a couple different stores, but not every item is found in every store. Thanks, big truck. So anyway, um, Joanne's, not Michael's. Uh, ooh, a building is coming up. Anyway, sorry. That used to be the Evergreen restaurant right across from our Denny's. Did I ever tell you that John DeVolta was in our Denny's? He filmed a movie called Lucky Seven, I think it's called, and they filmed it here. And um, the Evergreen was in it, Kmart, uh, Denny's, and for the longest time, um, they had a sign up above the booth that they filmed the scenes with him in Denny's, and this is the booth that John DeVolta sat in type of thing. It was so funny. But it's been redone since, and I don't know if that section is there or not. Anyway, I'm off to Michael's now. I did buy something because something, uh, I bought a couple things there. Um, I bought it for my mother, and I loved it so much. The last time I saw that they were 50% off. And then when I got there, I because I told myself, if you ever see these things 50% off again, you're getting them for yourself because I love it. So much have no idea where I'm gonna put it I just know that I had to have it for myself I had a really hard time handing it over to my mother when I got it for her and uh, so I'll show you those uh, when I get home 
and then I'm gonna go to um, Joanne's now to see if I can find the wrong wrong. Hello. And then I'm going home because I don't have a need to be out. Uh, I don't have to do anything or go anywhere. I'm done spending money. Especially since I bought a couple things that I didn't plan on doing it. And one more thing for my mother for Mother's Day. Just some little mints that she likes. My church also has a school, like a Monday through Friday school for, it's like preschool and elementary, that's it. And it's right up here, I just thought of it. I was there once when I had a meeting with my pastor's wife about something, uh, because she works there and she has an office there and that's where she was when we made our appointment. Did I ever tell you I wanted to be a teacher? I always thought that I would go to college to be a teacher, um, but then I I didn't finish high school. I quit and got my GED when my kids were like three and five, and I just didn't go, you know, because my boyfriend asked me to marry him, so I said, okay, and then that changed my whole life because either you have a career or you're a family person. That's how I was thinking back then. Of course, any woman could do anything and everything that they want now. But back then, that wasn't my mindset. So I decided I was just going to be a, a wife and a mother and a, a homemaker. And that was fine. But then when my kids were teenagers and my husband and I were uh, separated, divorced, and then remarried, um, and we were both working full time and we owned a home and I decided I wanted to go back to school to do it. And after one semester, I could only do it part time because I had to work. So I took two classes for one semester. I got an A in one and a B in the other. And I really think I got a B in the other one because I missed a class because otherwise it was just so easy. There was no reason why I shouldn't have gotten a, an A in it. But anyway, um, that was psychology general, general, psychology 101, yeah. And then I had um, English composition 101 uh, that I got an A in. I really struggled with time to get everything done during that semester and I was so white. And my, I would bring my books to work and my supervisor would always show up at my desk on my breaks. I had two 15 minute breaks and a half hour lunch. And I spent every minute of them reading in my books. And she would always show up when I was reading and I would say, I'm on break. And she'd stand around and talk. And I really wanted to be left alone so I could read. But I think she thought that I was reading on company time when I wasn't. And we were just, um, I think we were just doing, I don't remember what, what I was doing then, but because it changed and then we moved to a different building. But that's not important. I have to turn this down. Um, I just really feel like she thought I was doing something I shouldn't be, that I was reading instead of working, but I wasn't. And I thought, I just can't do this. And then all of my time at home was spent reading, reading, reading because I was constantly behind. And maybe that wouldn't be the case with every um, class I took, but I just couldn't handle it. And the realization of school taking eight years part-time instead of four years altogether, plus I could only do um, the first half of my credits at the um, community college and the rest would have to be done at state college level, like in, in um, Shippensburg, I think it's called or something. And that's so far away. And how do you do that and work and I, I just got so overwhelmed. I can feel it building up in me again, uh, just talking about it, that I just, after one semester, I quit. Can't do it, can't do it, can't do it. And I was really, really upset about it then. Really, it really upset me. And every time I passed an elementary school, which we lived, um, we lived right down the road from one, and I passed another one all the time, I would get very sad thinking, um, 
one of these days I could have worked there. Or even like eight years later, I, I would drive past it and think, I could be a third grade school teacher in that building right now if I had stayed and worked. You know what I mean? Um, but I couldn't handle it. I just had too much life going on and I just couldn't do it. If I could have stayed at home and gone to school full time and taken care of everything like that, it would have been great, but I couldn't do it. So I didn't. And I, I don't regret quitting because I really had to quit then. What I regret is not taking care of it early on and you know fulfilling that desire then because I still have the desire to teach like I thought about this because we were just talking about the the school that my church has and I wanted to work in a Christian school because who wouldn't want to who, who wouldn't prefer working in a Christian environment as opposed to something as secular as a public school and uh, private schools they can have their own curriculum and their own set of rules and their own way of doing things and and I just always wanted that and and when I worked I did some instructing that's what I was saying and uh, we had to teach billing to a whole bunch of classes and I was put in charge of creating the material and teaching it along with another girl named Keisha and uh, I had a really fun time doing that. Standing up in front of the class, behind me was a big dry erase board. And um, writing things down on the board, uh, creating the paperwork that I had to hand out for them, and teaching them uh, the billing application that we were using. And I just, I just, I was in my element. And I feel like I, I was shining then, because that's something that I really wanted to do. Now it was adults, and uh, that was quite intimidating, but even if I was teaching children, there would still be plenty of adults around. There are teachers and principals that come in and sit in the back of your class and just watch your style, especially when you're new. You have to deal with um, all of the students' parents and all that goes with that. I can't imagine how, I can't imagine just how stressful that would be. Because I was a parent and I went to school for parent-teacher nights and I saw what goes on. Um, so anyway, your light's too shiny. I didn't become a teacher, but yet I s still wish that I could teach. But I can't teach anybody anything like that in a teaching environment without the proper credentials and that's that's not going to happen even though I don't work now I'm still not going to pursue a teaching certificate it's just not going to happen I don't have the desire to do that to go through all that and I don't really don't want to learn math in that respect on that level and I won't have anything to do with common core math because that's out there now. I don't know if it's in this area. I don't know where it's at. I, I don't care. I just, I don't acknowledge Common Core math. It's against my religion, okay? Just leave it at that. But I still wish I could have taught. I wonder if I could have become a teacher early on, if I'd still be a teacher, if I'd still be in the system. Would it be public? Would it be private? I don't know. But that would have been fun. So I didn't do anything. I never had a career. Um, I always say that I still don't know what I want to be when I grow up. But the answer to that really is I wanted to be a teacher, but I didn't do it. So I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. I didn't become anything. It's just me. I'm still waiting to find something to do at 54. What am I going to do? And as a Christian, what's my purpose? Why am I here? Do you ever just wake up in the morning and say, OMG, here I am again? <sighs> yeah, sometimes that's what it's like. I promise, I'm getting there. I'm just going around so that I could... <gasps> the spot I wanted is handicapped.
another spot, so I'll have to go here. Okay, fine. I feel very crooked. Ugh. All right. There's Joanne's. I'm not too far. Could be closer. Oh, you're leaving. Now, stop looking at spots. I'm just going to go. I'll be back. Hi. So, I needed my umbrella to get into Joanne's, but I didn't need it to get out, which was nice. I found what I was looking for and got it. I even just did a little video of the display, the wrong, wrong display. Um, just to show you what I meant if you're unfamiliar with what I'm talking about. And of course I'll show you what I got when I get home. All right, I'm home and oh, I didn't look, but I'm pretty sure I parked good. Yeah, I'll take it. Gee, maybe I should like not pay so much attention next time. All right, I got some bags to take in and I'll be back with the things that I got yesterday and today just to show you. Bye-bye. All right, everybody, I'm home. I'm dry, I'm changed, I'm fed, and I'm ready to show you a few products, some things that I got this week and before that, and today, just to end this video. So I'm gonna start with something um, older that I got that I wanted to show you because I have a newer version, newer one that's something like it. This is a face trimmer. Do you already have one? It's from Flawless. It says Flawless on it. I got this one um, a year, almost a year and a half ago from Wish for about five or six dollars. <coughs> Excuse me. You, they're usually twenty dollars. If you get it at Bed Bath & Beyond, you can use a 20% off coupon. But I love this. It has the round, um, uh, the round razors, and you just do circular motions. Works very well, and I really like it. Most recently, I purchased from Flawless. It says Flawless, but you can you can't really see it. This is for the eyebrows, and it has a, a rounded tip. And uh, it works very well to, to get in, to get underneath, to help shape your eyebrows. And it leaves your skin really smooth. Now, I got this one for $20 at Bed Bath & Beyond, but I used a 20% off coupon. So that, that helped. And I just got this a couple weeks ago. <clears throat> it's time for me to use it again. Now, let's see, what else? Yesterday I went shopping with Chrissy, a little with Chrissy. We did some Mother's Day shopping and stuff. And we went, we were at the mall, we had lunch. And then we went our separate ways because I had other shopping and she had Mother's Day shopping to do. And I got myself some Black Cherry Merlot. This is a nice big eight ounce moisturizer and it says 24 hour moisture ultra shea body cream and it smells so freaking good when i got home at five o'clock in the evening i put some on and i rubbed it all over my lower arms my elbows and the back of my hands and when i went to bed at two o'clock this morning you could still smell it all over me it smelled just as good but it wasn't there this morning i specifically when I got up, smelled my arms and there was nothing. So <clears throat> between the hours of 2 and 10 a.m., it disappeared. Um, but I, this is my, now I've had the soap before and Chrissy got me a soap. I put it away already, um, a nice soap. It's very pretty and it smells delicious. And she's gotten me the soap before, like for Christmas and stuff. And Black Cherry Malo is my favorite scent at um, Bath and Body Works. Uh, but this is just so good and their sale was buy two get one free of the full thingies. So um, this was free, let's just put it that way. 
because I got two other full-size things of a different scent for someone else. And Black Cherry Merlot. I just love it. I love Black Cherry anything. My my um, yogurts, Black Cherry is my favorite. My water enhancers, the little things like the Mio's that you squeeze and stuff like that. I get the cherries, anything, black cherry, anything I can get with cherry in it, but not like a, a cherry limeade or anything. I don't like that. <clears throat> and then I mentioned in the car, I did one nail. I think I mentioned it, did I? I did one nail. I wanted pink. Now this was done in the dark of the living room last night. So you can kind of see through to my nail in an area. I didn't do too good of a job, but I only wanted to test out the pink to make sure it was uh, the shade I was looking for, and then the top coat, which is a matte. This is the pink that I got, Sally Hansen's, Hansen's Insta Dry, and it's in the shade Super Poppy. I don't know, I don't think you'll see that, so I'm not gonna show you, but it is Super Poppy, and this is exactly, once I put it on, it's exactly the very uh, subtle shade of pink that I was looking for, so I appreciate that. And then I got a, a matte finish top coat from Sinful Colors. I have a lot of these Sinful Colors. And you can see the sticker on there, matte finish. And you have to use um, <clears throat> two coats of this. So I've got two coats of each on. And of course I'm gonna take this off when I do my nails for Saturday. But I walked around with just one nail done I don't know if you can see the mat. You can probably, I could see the bald spot that I missed in the dark, but, and it's very soft, very soft and smooth. I don't know, I really like it. So I'm look, looking forward to seeing what a whole hand of nails or set of nails looks like with these two things. Now today I went to Hobby Lobby and Joann's. I went to Hobby Lobby to look for very specific Happy Planner things and they didn't have any, they were out. So I found something else. Now these two items I bought for my mother a little while ago and I wanted them so bad. I had a hard time giving this to my mother. Here mom, I got this for you um, because I love it and I got them 50% off. I got this tote bag. It has these three pockets that stick out. There's pockets on both of the shorter sides and one in the back to slip um, thinner things in. And on the inside, it is in two sections, as you can see. And it is, um, you can't fold this. It is what it is. It's uh, very firm and I like that. And I got it for my mother so that she can put some planner things in and come to my house. Because she was having a hard time. She was bringing like all her planner stuff to my house. And I'm like, mom, just put a few things in this bag and bring it and then it won't be so hard to carry. But now she puts all her planner stuff in there and keeps it in there. And now she doesn't like the idea of dragging all her stuff. So we're, we're back to uh, square one. But I, I thought maybe I could put some planner items in here and go to her house to plan on some days when she doesn't want to come here and drag her stuff. I have a whole lot more planning stuff than hers because I have a whole cart here and I've got half a shelf of stuff over there on my bookcase. But... I can pick out certain things and, and take. And in addition to that, I got this. This is where I, I would put all of my little tools that I need to use for the day. It has a strap. You would put this over your Happy Planner. It has a pocket that goes this way that I'll probably never use. And then it just has the inside. Here's a piece of foam I could take out. Now, and one of those silica gel things. Now, this only retails for $6.99, which I think is really great. And it's from uh, the Paper Studio. It's an Agenda 52 uh, product, and they've got a lot of stickers and stuff. 
Um, but for $6.99, that's not bad, but this was 50% off. So I got it for about $3.50. And for $3.50, yes. And the inside is black and white striped. And Happy Planner is all about their black and white stripe. So it even looks like something from Happy Planner with the florals and the black and white stripes, just like this. This is retailed for $30, $29.99. So I got it for $14.99. And um, this makes me happy. Again, the black and white stripes everywhere, inside and out, and the florals. And it is so pretty, Whoop! and it is so springy, and I just love it, and I'm happy that I own it now. And this is just gonna sit inside here, and I'm gonna put this away in my linen closet, and when I'm ready to uh, take my Happy Planner things somewhere, I have a nice tote that I can get them there safely. And now, finally, um, Joann's, I got this bag here. Oh, this Joann's bag is the perfect size for a poop bag. So I shall keep that and attach it. And they had a buy two, get one free special going on with their stickers. So there just happened to be three sticker books that I wanted. And I meant to open this before. So give me a minute to do this now and I'll be right back. All right, that's better. I got three of these small sticker books. Now this is what it looks like. This is, uh, it doesn't say, it just says wrong, wrong on the back. And before I go any further, let me show you the footage that I took in Joann's at, the, at that particular display. Here's what I'm talking about. Wrong, wrong. And here's her style. These are what I'm thinking of getting. We'll see. Buy two, get one free. I'll be back. So now you can see kind of what I was talking about. This person's art mixed with um, Happy Planner's style. And this is a pastel book. It says pastels. And, well, right away you can see a nice uh, a nice purple. I'll try to do a, a little bit of a flip. But this is, that's not working. That's all shoes. This is about women of, if you look very carefully at these women, they're all different sizes. They're different colors and different styles. And that's what this is all about, you know. Girl power everywhere. Glam is my jam, my kind of day. And, and of course there's plenty of, they're not all just for fashion, there's plenty for functionality as well. And this is the pastel, it's one of the ones I wanted. Also the seasonal. And let me try and find a pretty Christmas. Here's some a nice Christmas page. It's the same stickers that you find in the sticker books. Uh, here's a nice fall page. But it's just kind of miniature. Here's a nice summer page. And let me find something springy. Oh, well, here's Galentine's Day. something springy. So I will enjoy using this throughout the year. And uh, that's pretty. See how she's holding the reef there? I like that, that's nice. And since they were buy, they're, they're, 
uh, $4.99 each. And they only had one seasonal and one pastel. So I'm like, well, I'm definitely getting these two because these are the two I wanted. So I'm spending $10 regardless. I might as well get a free item. And so I got the brights. Now I don't own anything brights as far as Happy Planner is concerned because um, I'm just not into the very bright colors. But flipping through this, I don't see anything super bright at all like really bright it's just it's just not very bright here's the first page those um stripes down on the bottom of course yes they're bright uh, <coughs> that doggy is allowed to bark you're not she just shines it'd be nice on a, on a dark blue page Hello, darling. There's nothing bright about that. That's kind of pastelish. It's very pretty. This one's a, a brighter page. So, I'm, I'm glad. Fierce, focused, and fabulous. I'm glad I got this. There were two or three of these. And like I said, only one each of these. So, for almost $10, I got all three of them. And I'm not gonna keep them in here because if I keep them in here, I'll never use them. I, I think I showed this to you before. I bought one of these notebooks and I turned them into a sticker book. It, this is a notebook filled with every one of these that I had and I had several. I will cut the top, the outside of this off like I did here. This was my colorful boxes and I write down what it is. And then I've got pages of uh, colorful boxes. Wait a minute. No, wait a minute. Yes, I'm sorry. Colorful boxes, stickers. I thought I had journaling stickers in here, but I don't. Now, let me flip to the next one so I can show you. Hold on. I have several boxes, uh, several packs in here. Um, like where the black and the black and white sticker book ended this one started and this is lovely pastels and then I've got all my pastels after that and then it goes on into other things this isn't pastels this is squad goals so I'm going to do that with the three of these books and get them in here they just just pull them all off and I think I cut this off here yeah I did I cut them off so there's a little work you got to do peel all these off and then trim the tops off to get rid of um, to get rid of that hole. Just cut that right below the hole. And then I have some sticky stuff here. Um, here's some sticky stuff. And I just use a runner like this and stick it into the notebook on, on the regular notebook paper here. At the end, I left some blank paper. I don't know if I have enough for this, but I have plenty of extra to add to it if I want. So that's what I'm going to do with these three notebooks so when I want to look for a certain sticker I just grab one notebook that has a million stickers in it instead of flipping through these little ones that get forgotten because they get you know put aside now I got one more thing in the clearance section they had all their journaling stickers for $4.97 that's half price and I got the the faith for a close planner babe of mine and I'm going to give that to them shortly so those are the things that I wanted to show you that I've products that I've gotten recently I just want to smell good right now so I'm gonna put a little lotion all over my arms you should seen the dogs when I put it on and sat down on the sofa they were like it's like they wanted to eat my arms. Oh, I smell so good. So this is gonna be my new summer scent, Black Cherry Merlot from Bath and Body Works at a mall near you. So until I see you again, have a great rest of your week. I hope you stay dry from all this spring rain we're getting and be blessed.